Good morning, people. Welcome to the morning session. As in morning thoughts, I haven't done this video in uh, quite some time. If you see my last few videos, uh, it's basically mostly either fragrance reviews, issue impression, or uh, top list, top 10. Uh, you get the idea. But today, uh, just let me warn you, or <laughs> uh, this is a caution. If you are watching for a fragrance review, uh, this is not it. I'm just going to update uh, on my life, what's going on. <clears throat> Excuse me in my country, in the FRACCOM, and uh, something that's, that, really, that is relevant to me. So it, it, it could very well be that it's not, you know, it's in your interest, your best interest that, you know, if this, is, this video is something that you don't want to watch or you don't think it's important, you can definitely skip the video. I'm not doing this for the views. I'm just sharing my thoughts with people who are uh, following me for a long time. And uh, I started this channel. Let's, try, let's start, actually. Let's start at some point. I don't have a note. But uh, let me let me just start. I started this channel somewhere in 2016. It was, uh, I think, 12th of August. That's my that's when I threw my first video out. I was in Malaysia at the time. I did not have the courage to face the camera. I was just following. I've been following the fragrance community since 2000. I think uh, 12, 13, around 2013 until 2016. Three years I've been watching, and then one day I suddenly felt like you know I want to do this as well because like many other people who used to watch like me and then became reviewers and uh, you know I was one of them I had the I really wanted to because I really love perfumes I really love my fragrances and I used to really spend all my money just like right now in back in Malaysia uh, to buy fragrances uh, and fragrances in Malaysia are not really cheap you guys know this very well those who live in Malaysia Singapore zone uh, let's say Brunei Singapore Indonesia wherever you're from you can uh, definitely uh, confirm that the fragrances are quite expensive there and you hardly get discounts. So I used to still make the money somehow because I had a small business going at the time, like a burger joint, like a fast food joint under a hotel uh, somewhere in Chalanampang. And I spent most of my money buying, like I used to buy sneakers like shoes, Essex, uh, sometimes like New Balance, those are my favorite brands. Uh, I used to play sports and stuff. I quit everything. I used to cook. I used to do music. I used to do even organizing uh, when I was in Malaysia. But I quit everything to start this obsession of mine. And one fine day, I was like watching fragrance reviews from I think Mark, a few other reviewers. Uh, reviewers. And I'll let, let you know some funny thoughts that hit me back in the time, how my journey changed. When I used to watch these guys, you know, I didn't enjoy all of the reviews of the you know, like in the, in the same way. Some reviewers, like first guy that I really loved, uh, honestly speaking, the most professional videos, Mark and Steven, these two dudes, you know, like uh, these two gentlemen are two of the best in the community. They have huge coverage, huge collection. Uh, they are like reviewers of epic proportion. Even today, something happened, something nice from Steven that I'll tell you also. So I'm just updating you a little bit, telling you about my life, you know, like I think it's nice sometimes sharing. Uh, a lot of things happening in the country, in the community. So anyway, I was going, uh, let me go back then. So it's been almost two years, you know, I'm reviewing and sometimes I feel very tired. But then when I think of it that I have to keep moving forward because this is something that excites me, you know, makes me smile, makes me uh, happy. So I keep doing it. It's not an easy job. Those who are reviewing for a long time, they know this is not an easy job. It's a very stressful uh, world out there when you're working. And plus, you know, people who are really working out there because... Um, not everybody's working solely with fragrance. Some people are teaching, some people are working and daytime shift and they just find time in between and do videos for you. So first of all, I'd like to thank all the reviewers for their effortless, you know, uh, days and nights, you know, like not effortless, like uh, days and nights of hard work that you put the content out there. Every reviewer is different in their own way. Some people are reviewing like uh, fragrances that we are not very well known you know like with like we're not very familiar with like niche fragrance like if you see sebastian zara he does only if you see his last video he talked a lot from his personal life like why he was answering like why uh some people accusing him of buying subscribers <laughs> and you know like he was explained very funny way and he was telling about his life other channel so these are nice things to watch that he says only he, he focused mostly on niche and indie houses that's great then there is i would say uh other reviewers like you know like uh, who are talking about Arma, Rasasi. if I go on about the reviewers like if he shares you know like one of the most 
awesome dudes out there so you guys know about these fragrances then there's chad he's talking about mostly his favorite house is xenia and ferrari but he loves reviewing a lot of other houses as well so this dude uh, he is very personal friend of mine even two three days back he called up on like called to check up on me and he's like very concerned he's like hey dude what's up hey how are you doing bro <laughs> and i was like uh, hey i'm good and he spends significant amount of time in the early morning i really appreciate it like since uh, like we lost chris you know there has been this nice bonding i would say there's so much concern among the reviewers you know and uh, it's a nice thing to see it's like nice even mark added me in facebook you know it's like even though it's a difficult times for me these are some things that really makes me happy uh, mark is if you guys do not know my fragrance guru i always said it since the beginning whatever i learned i used to watch his videos multiple times how this guy describes fragrances you know and uh, his uh, humor you know how he laughs at his own jokes sometimes a little bit you know look at it you know look at him people might think he's a lunatic but <laughs> but it's not true it's not true so everybody has their own style some like og style like there's al street sense there is steven the most professional most perfect guy there's no uh you cannot find any weakness in his channel there are a lot of other reviewers i really love uh but you know let's not talk about my favorite reviewers because there are a lot there are a lot out there so uh two years journey it's it's not been easy and i have collected quite a number of fragrances and many people would say you just collect designers yes my love for designers is immense you know i can actually cut down like let's say if i didn't have 500 bottles i would have like 100 niche bottles let's say like that but i'd like to explore more i'd like to sniff more i'm a little bit greedy in that way because i'm newbie i'm a new person i'm a new in this fragrance game i'm learning you know i'm learning from different houses designer sometimes niche uh, many times i buy like i'll show you three uh, niche samples that I bought not three I bought two and uh, this from MFK house just uh, yesterday I got them uh, one is like the Baccarat Rouge 540 X-ray day perform and uh, this one is the Grand Soir which I was waiting for for a very long time this sample 2ml sample these houses I can buy these fragrances no doubt but I'll tell you why I don't buy the full bottle this is the Baccarat Rouge and I do have four others previously these are cashmere mode if you haven't checked out my review i reviewed all these four cashmere mode wood cashmere mode from mfk house baccarat rouge edp i did silk mode okay wood silk mode and wood satin mode this is my most favorite in this house so far in the wood category so i'm looking forward to actually talk about these in nearby time and i did also buy a discontinued fragrance that is zeus okay i love this fragrance a lot so uh from time to time I do that I buy samples I whatever by any means I get it one ml sample I still talk about it because it excites me that's the kind of love and dedication I think you need to have for fragrances if you really want to you know be a fragrance reviewer uh, put yourself out there and show your passion you know so why do we do fragrance reviews uh, I'll tell you my own reason I love fragrances one thing second thing is uh, I like to share what I feel about a fragrance certain fragrance you know uh, I don't want to say just what I read on Fragrantic. I would like to say what it did for me, you know, in Bangladesh condition, let's say, outdoors, indoors, different weathers, you know, summer, winter, rainy day, if I did have any memory with it, if I did pick up any compliments, and if a fragrance bottle, you know, just when you buy it, people, you know, like this kind of fragrance is any as Womo, not everybody talks about it. So I like to pick up some fragrances sometimes, they do not have so many reviews, but deserve review. So I feel that way, that's my way of working. So. If people say upgrade your game to niche or something, I don't feel that same way actually upgrading. You had diff you enjoy different things at different part of life. That's one thing. So the difficult times for me recently, you know, I don't want to talk about the whole two years, but uh, you guys uh, know that I've been uh, having some hard time in the recent last few week, last few months, like couple of months. Things are not very good with me. Um, like I'm not going to have mental issues and stuff. I'm okay, you know. But sometimes, you know, depression takes over and uh, when you are not doing so well and, you know, as a reviewer, you cannot review so many bottles or buy so many of them, you automatically will be a little bit dejected, you know, like a little bit like upset, just simple and plain. I do a decanting page, you know, it's like sort of like a small uh, venture that I do in Bangladesh. I do not make any money from YouTube. You guys do not know that. I'm telling you today. I can actually monetize my channel. I can find out, but I don't have any interest because uh, it's just a pleasure doing a fragrance review let's say sometimes exclusive reviews that no one has ever reviewed like 
uh, I think few fragrance, I don't know what fragrance I did, just I was the first one to review that particular fragrance. That makes me very, very happy. Uh, but you know, like last two months was very difficult for me, you know, like there are a lot of nowadays, a lot of competitors, you know, when you have a market, you know, like a lot, lot of enemies, a lot of people who would like to hurt you. These days the pattern, you know, you help someone, they come and try to harm you. Uh, this is what happens in the world. We are kind of not very happy for our brother's success. You know, I'm personally very happy for anybody that is successful in terms of uh, they are make they're making money they're getting sponsored they're getting you know like jobs and stuff they get recognition it makes me very very proud right but uh, last two months was not good for me it's in that way that not very happy because you know I wish I could put a lot more quality content out there better fragrances but I cannot afford it at this moment so you know it, it makes a little bit sad but that's not end of the world so I do have my friends and one of the friends was Chris okay just telling what this guy sometimes you know I did a tribute video and let me tell you he asked me joy everything all right he commented somewhere like hey bro everything okay I said uh, let me tell you in, in inbox you know then I told him the whole story like what's happening with my life and he's like bro if you need someone to like you know be there you know kick some ass and stuff you can rely on me he posted it somewhere in one of the groups and it made me very very happy because this guy as you heard already you know this is nothing new he was always there for other people he used to find happiness and motivation in helping others making others feel better so you will not feel you will not find that many authentic happy guys even though he may not be the most happy guy inside he was helping others so it he was one of my best friends in that way. I told him, bro, we someday gonna have a steak and uh, the cold one is on me, Corona Extra. And, uh, you know, I don't drink or smoke anymore. A couple of days back, I just smoked because I think I was not feeling okay. And it, I felt terrible, you know, like smoking, it didn't feel like quite me. I never smoked again. But, you know, these difficult times, you know, I lost him. Uh, suddenly, just out of nowhere, death and death is like that, you know, it just struck. You know, strikes you anywhere um, I was very upset you know like right now I'm kind of settled and stuff but that the, the pain is there you know it the, the missing uh, there is some sort of emptiness there you know even if you did not know him in real life that all that much I never met him I never had the opportunity to shake his hand um, but he was there at all my life like that so he told me everything is gonna be okay you know don't worry business is like that you're gonna be okay and he gave me some words of encouragement, made me feel really, really better. There's my brother, Carlos Colom, who does that also. These two guys, I call them guardian angels. Like if you watched a movie, movie called uh, City of Angels, they are that kind of people. So the thing is, like, I'm not the most perfect guy. Nobody's perfect in this world. Everybody has flaws because we're human beings. I learned one thing or two I'm trying to learn, to be positive, to be happy, you know, to be celebrating life every second. That's what he taught this guy taught everybody. He was everywhere. He was freaking everywhere. Every group, every channel. When I was reviewing one, two years back, he was my viewer, as I told you. And the last video that I did, tag video that Steven told me to do the worst five fragrances, I tagged him in the end. But he could never finish that video. So it makes me feel like, you know, there's something always going to be that we never talked about, something incomplete. So these are some things that, you know, happening in life. And then... At the same time, Bangladesh started, my country started having some crisis over death of few school students. You know, the bus just came, reckless bus, didn't have fitness. It happens in third world country, corrupted nation, you know, like nation is, yeah, I would say nation, everything, everything's corrupted here. Like there's no system, there's no honesty. People are, you know, when there's poverty, this thing's going to happen. So I was having very hard time, you know, I couldn't focus in one thing. And then I went through some hard time myself, um, broke up with my girlfriend. <laughs> so it's not easy okay and these difficult times you know you actually realize how alone you are like let's say not lonely but you feel there's no one around you there's absolute silence around you and those are the times which are challenging you know that's when chad called me to check on me and then this morning steven messaged me this afternoon like hey bro uh, you've posted one video lomani ab spirit in my group i pin i pin posted that thing so you get some more views <sighs> These things, you know, I, I don't know how to say thanks to these awesome guys. Uh, these are my dreams, you know, I wish I could show my happiness a little bit more, but in the state of mind that I am in right now, you know, I, I'm very happy, I'm very, very, I, I know I should be a lot more enthusiastic, but, you know, the whole time is just, you know, like, not letting us be 
that happy, that internal happiness is not there because there are a lot of things that's going on wrong. Uh, in front of our eyes, like school children were beaten in Bangladesh by police and some other forces, and they try to stop the media to show the truth. And the youth, you know, in Bangladesh, they want something right. They want the roads to be clean, you know. we They're like very simple sort of uh, demands, you know. And because of that, they were punished, right? So if you're following, if you do not follow Bangladesh, we do care to follow. If you read the news, they're not portraying the whole picture. So a lot of things are going wrong, but it makes me very, very upset because I really, you know, even if I'm not the most perfect guy, but I believe it or not, I want uh, safe roads. I want something good. I want people to be honest, system to be there and no corruption someday, perhaps in the whole world. Stop hatred, division. People are so divided everywhere. They're just happy to be, you know, smiling at someone's failure, someone's pain. These are wrong. These are absolutely wrong. You know, sometimes and I know that I did done a video where I slammed a guy because he attacked Jeremy. Again, controversial topic. But I don't want to bring Jeremy here because this topic is not about Jeremy or any other reviewers. It's about the whole FRACCOM at this point where we are sometimes as person we are, you know, real. You know, we are real. We, we Our lives are real. And it's good that we share sometimes. That's what I'm sharing. So, uh, one thing I do not believe in is that personal vengeance and personal reason to attack someone. If someone is harming you in person, you should definitely protest against it and people should definitely f defend it but always be honest you know when you're fighting for a cause good cause do not use the uh, personal reasons personal hatred lying you know mixing rumors that what happens in our country too then in the end no good is achieved so i suggest whatever you do good or bad feel good or bad stay honest okay uh, if you're staying honest with yourself you're gonna be okay someday uh and the fragrance community at this point, I'm really happy. You know, I'm really happy that all the love that I got. Stephen, thank you once again for wonderful support, man. You know, you are awesome. You are like, it's like a dream that's happening in my channel because I'm a very small time <laughs> person that from Bangladesh, you know. I posted my videos every day. I used to do videos every single day. Every single day I try to do a video. That's what I do. In my setup, is not the best setup. I cannot go out there because... If I was in Malaysia, I would do There are a lot of nice spots there. No people there. In Bangladesh, everywhere. You go out, there'll be people. So you cannot really freely talk. So that's my only, uh, like, uh, barrier at this moment. Or rather say, uh, like, the reason for me not to be able to. And I'm not a very social person. It's going to be funny to uh, hear. But, yeah, I'm, I'm sort of like a loner, you know. I had a lot of friends at one point in my life. I used to be a leader, I used to captain my team, cricket team, I used to lead a whole uh, student society and then I used to throw programs out there, a lot of followers, a lot of people but in the end you know like what I saw is ugliness a lot. Maybe it's just unfortunately me surrounded by that kind of people and I kind of lost faith in humanity you know. This is what I'm going to tell you honestly. Perhaps there are a lot of good people out there. I, that's why I try to stay positive. I look for some hope out there. So when I see genuine people, you know, like it could be good or bad, but people who are genuine, even if my enemy is genuine, like he tells me to my face, hey, dude, screw you. You know, you suck. It's okay. But nowadays, you know, I'm scared to look at the comments section. I'm telling you, I do not read the comments because what if I see something negative about my friend who passed away? I wouldn't be able to take it. You know, I, I would like let my monster unleash and I'll lose it. I have a lot of anger management issues. So... Yes, in a nutshell, it's a long video sharing a lot of things, but I continue, I plan to do, you know, like continue to do videos. I don't know where this is going to go. I wish I could work with fragrances in certain particular area, uh, in a shop perhaps, or somewhere like where I'll be surrounded by fragrances. I can review whatever I want to. This is one thing really comforts me. This is one thing I really love. Um, I don't care for all the hatred in the world. I care for, I don't care for all the people what they spread negativity like you they don't think i review really well from my own country people are like this guy is nobody <laughs> so it's it, it's okay no problem but uh, i mind my own world i mind my own business own uh, line of work and that's where i focus on i don't really care for what others are thinking at, at this point so i decided i'm gonna be staying positive as long as i can whenever i can buy new samples of fragrances i'll review them and definitely good times and bad times they take turns and stuff right so they are not always constant um, i'm waiting for maybe better days you know maybe they will come but i'll try to be strong and i decided one thing you know um, you cannot actually 
to everything, you know, even everything is not under your power. Some people say, I wish I could talk to Chris, you know, I'm going to talk about him again and again, that maybe he would, it would have helped him. No, destiny is there, you know, destiny, it's always there. It's bound to happen what's bound to happen. And what we can do, we can take lesson from this, uh, you know, like people when they're in pain, they're lonely, you know, that dude used to live alone, you know, we are very alike in that way. Uh, I luckily have my family, but I stay basically in my own world. Sometimes it's important, you know, when you see smiley faces and who are like a joker, making everybody laugh, always check up on them, you know, like just because there's a smile on their face doesn't mean that they're okay, right? I'm okay, no problem, but I'm open. Anybody needs to talk to me, just knock me if, if you want to talk about just life and shit, you know, that's okay. Uh, and thanks once again, Chad, Steve and Mark for the wonderful support, guys. I really appreciate it all right so take care guys you know just uh hopefully this country situation the overall situation gonna get better i'm gonna be back in the beast mode and uh, bring you nice fragrances because i really want to show you all the fragrances in the world trust me i i will fill up my whole house my whole room if i have to uh so that i can bring you reviews right the whole purpose is talk about a fragrance uh in such a way that people get your experience and they can decide for themselves uh if they are going to buy the fragrance or not. I don't really care what it's established as. Like, let's say, last thing. Let's say, your Splash. Some people say, it's a very simple fragrance. Why are you talking about it? Maybe I found it special, right? And uh, I think it uh, has something special about it. That's why perhaps I want to talk about it. It could mean like, it, it means a lot in my world. It means nothing in your world. That's absolutely fine. Mutual respect, no problem. So anyway, I'll keep working and stay focused. That's the update for the channel now i'm sorry talked a lot but i feel better take care guys i'll talk to you soon uh maybe tomorrow fragrance review coming up good night